Ich sehe man. Ja, sehr schön. Ich dachte mir, uh, I switched to English, so she knows uh, why we invited him. Uh, and I want to say a little bit about the why, like always start with why. Okay. Um, I uh, got to know a colleague of yours, like Cordelia Gross. I think I met her first in uh, 2009 at the Enterprise to Zero Summit in Paris. And uh, I stumbled across this presentation. She sent me the link. And as you can see, I, I put the, um, just a moment, the laser be pointer here. This presentation is 2013, so almost yes. like 10 years, eight or nine or 10 years. And what I especially liked about this is the message that when we talk about Uh, communities and networks and organization, it's about the people and not about technology. You had a lot of slides with computers on it and network cables and smartphones and so on. But in this picture, I saw that from uh, persons in a suit with a tie, uh, blue color workers, the firemen and so on, everybody's part of that network. I liked it very much. And they, they were, were on their real uh, uniform, the real working yeah. uh, clothes, actually. Cool, yeah. And we even have a board member in there. Okay, which one is it? The, the one who stands one upside the, down? No. Uh, the white one after the red car. This one the here. The white in the middle uh, yeah. where the red woman holding his feet. Yeah, all right. So he's not <laughs> upside down. That's good. No, no, no. He's not shaken by uh, community management. And uh, there were some slides and we can share the link. Of course, it's in, on SlideShare, like uh, arguing that when the Internet gets more connected, people get more connected, markets get more connected. It's important to have that on the company side as well. I like that. I like the, the, the fields that you named, like the monitoring, the guidelines, consulting, training and so on. I like this basic idea, what nowadays we'd call Ambitex 3 or dual operating system, like having hierarchy and network in sort of a combination mode. Uh, network people across functions and hierarchy and also the approach what, what Akim said we saw in the last 10 years a lot of approaches uh, uh, failed because you had the imp tool implementation and mm -hmm. community management was in focus but uh, the organizations failed to put enough resources for community management for the phase after the the project phase and then of course there was a tool change and so on you get focus on community management again But I like the idea how you uh, approached the the uh, institutionalization of, of the topic, so to say. And therefore, we just asked on LinkedIn and Cordelia uh, got me your contact and you were so kind to say, okay, I want to show you what happened in the last 10 years over three changes of tools and approaches. So we are really looking forward to your talk. Stage is yours. Thank you. Um, Let me try to share my whole screen because I don't know what will come out if not. <laughs> okay. I hope you can see my screen by yeah. now. Okay. Perfect. So uh, I, I try my best to to really uh, focus on the community pro, um, building and the programs. And this is what we have done over the past uh, 12 years, actually. Um, I'm currently sitting in... Um, in, in, still in communication and basically I am taking care or or I'm the caretaker of internal community and social platforms. Um, I'm, I'm my day work a lot more on the internal community side and sometimes when the platform needs some updates I will um, consult or work with my IT our IT department and basically Currently, we are using Yama and Stream. So I would like to give you an overview of what we have done over the 12 years and three platform. Just a, a, a quick snapshot, um, not about the, the 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 what is that the platform itself, but more on what we have uh, achieved on, and now uh, continue. Yeah. Our we have we have um, group all together. We have 110 thousand employees and actually um, it's it's I think we think about it like driving riding an elephant to uh, together with the elephant through this uh, to this journey and our first platform actually uh, started in as, as a as a let's say pilot platform with thousand employees which our worker councils allow us to do uh, If it is over 1,000 uh, um, employees, they think this is an actual formal launch. So we, we basically 
uh, started with a small group of people. Uh, Cordelia uh, actually take the lead in, in COM. I was still in research. I was doing uh, research as a researcher. I joined uh, the team to, to build up uh, the, the, the program uh, or the, the platform and also the, the way to launch it. We actually launched in May 2010. Uh, we reached at the end uh, with this platform actually uh, already reaching, let's say, the, the max and we have people coming in and out, uh, leaving the, the company or, or, or coming in. And basically we reached around 38,000 uh, sign in users uh, constantly after 2014. And then um, out of the 110,000 employees, uh, we reached also really about 20,000 monthly active users. And basically along this, um, years um, around four five years we we have created 5000 communities but actually you can imagine not all of them are active anymore if they started long uh, uh, that's that's the point of some of the community and some of them even started but not actually uh, active we move uh, thanks to the fact that our company uh, decided to move to microsoft instead of IBM uh, that time. And there we were forced to do a full migration with all the content and communities onto a SharePoint add-on platform. And there we uh, reach um, in this uh, up to 2020, uh, around 25,000 monthly active users. And in between this uh, time, we also launch uh, uh, another platform which is more for video sharing that's microsoft stream so we basically combine uh, these two to to and to to make our community more active and so on and then um, yeah. we decided to move to yama because of uh, because yama finally were able to host it to be hosted in europe and there we, we we basically jump on and uh, we we started with this time we do not do any migration it was not possible but uh, we basically migrated the membership some of the membership but we started with 50 active communities and with that we did some soft launch and and bring in some active member before our official launch we officially launched actually early march which before the just before the Corona pandemic, uh, in some sense, it was uh, 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 in retro retrospectively, it was the perfect timing to launch. And uh, we actually uh, do not do very much uh, big communication like the previous platform. Instead, we ask the community to actively promote. And we do have only one official um, announcement from our corporate communication and then we with that uh, we we have launched we fully then uh, afterwards uh, integrate uh, into teams and and microsoft 365 that means sharepoint stream and so on and then uh, we finally actually just last month uh, after 18 months of launch we uh, reach almost our limit let's say because uh, we do have quite some uh, product uh, people working in production who who do not uh, use this kind of platform, uh, and uh, we actually reached the 86, uh, 83 thousand uh, monthly active users. That's let's say actually even more uh, monthly user than our Microsoft Teams meeting uh, uh, itself. So uh, actually we have reached our limit uh, in that sense. Here uh, is the, the history of the tree platform. And actually among along this whole uh, uh, journey, we are trying to more com focus on community buildings and trying to uh, help the people to get to know the, the platform through community building instead of through training about the tools. Uh, Yes, we do have some material about tools training, but uh, from our position who, who promote this platform, 
talk less about the platform, but more about the community buildings. And I would like to share with that part of the story more with you. Uh, but before going on, I would like, of course, to let you know what I mean by full integration with Teams uh, and, and, and Microsoft uh, 365. Uh, but this is actually a uh, very, uh, very important to know that some of you may have heard about um, having a, a platform in the flow. And basically, uh, most um, employees in, in company like VSF are using Microsoft tools. And, and therefore, if you have Yama, something like Yama and Teams completely embedded inside their tools, uh, they will be a fully uh, uh, make the whole thing much easier. In in this case, uh, our uh, we have fully integrated the in stream into our our platform. We have fully integrated uh, SharePoint in it, and actually you can access Yama through Teams. And actually, we have a lot of people using Teams for meetings and chatting, and 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 Yama is just one of the uh, tab, let's say. And uh, actually, it also now show up uh, in, in Outlook. So you basically can answer a question in Outlook itself without going to the Yama platform. So yeah, actually, it is an extension of the user uh, interface. That's it. That's all about, <laughs> about uh, tools. Uh, now I would like to let you also know that we this 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 um, we have. We look at our community uh, in different categories or types, and we see this as an important mixed uh, because our idea uh, or our image of social platform is pretty much like a cities. If you look into big cities, you will see that cities are mixed of varieties of communities. And if you imagine that, you can see here, we also have such kind of mixed. Uh, but when we launched um, the, the platform um, back 10, 10 years ago, um, we basically expect that there will be a lot of uh, experts and professions starting their community. And nowadays it's still there. For example, design thinking, scouting network. It's one of those community coming from experts and they mm -hmm. find each other across the community, uh, across the organization inside BSF. We also expect, of course, um, as a social platform, people will start personal network and we have a very strong and big community uh, ever since 10 years ago. Uh, every time when we move, uh, they are the first mover uh, to our new platform that's a woman in BSF, for example. And we have something called International Transfer Club. These are the people who move from outside Germany to our headquarters uh, and they're uh, they form a club to help each other. Yeah. These are informal community. Uh, some of them uh, afterwards uh, supported by HR. Some of them uh, basically stay uh, fully independent. We also have community. Uh, mm -hmm. Later on, we found more and more, or actually we were a bit surprised with huge communities starting up uh, to initiate, to, 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 to let's say, promote their initiatives and provide services. These are, uh, we call it uh, community by the organization for the employees. Very often you found, for example, now we have something called WOW Center, which is a new way of working center and, um, and also workplace solution. This is very successful community that help uh, people solving more complicated problem uh, that that normally um, a help desk can can do, yeah. or sometimes give early alert uh, uh, of some trouble in, uh, instead of uh, letting everybody hitting the the, the trouble themselves. Yeah. And um, we are quite surprised ten years ago that we have a lot of organization community for organization too. Uh, oh, a lot, um, maybe I made a mistake, we cannot say a lot, but out of our business units, we have a lot of them <laughs> uh, started this kind of communities. Uh, we thought they were satisfied with their intranet, 
uh, the static internet, but actually we found out they they, they start to form those uh, community. Of course, one of our community is our com community, which is communications community. And uh, more, more recently, we have something called global business service community. This is actually one of our division. And this is, for example, the biggest community in our, our platform uh, consists of over 10,000 members. But um, they are sharing things which you normally don't share in intranet. So. Now, with this landscape, I hope to understand that we are capturing uh, well, added value or, or capturing a created value uh, uh, in a bit more free format. We do not have any limitation of, of, of um, or any criteria to, or do any filtering. <laughs> you can start your community as long as you agree with our terms of use. We do have a terms of use agree with uh, uh, our worker councils. And basically, we, uh, as long as you follow that, uh, you are free to start your community. So with the, with the new platform, we, we started uh, to provide some, uh, some self-learning quest. This quest in, consists of five to six questions or challenges. And basically, we have divided to three different quests, and we posted this in Yama so people can forward and share this quest to newcomers, or sometimes some community owners can uh, repackage it and make it for as an onboarding quest for their own community, and also to train com contributors and so on. Uh, then, uh, for example, they can use a contributor quest. And for community owner themselves, we share this community quest, which actually uh, is part of our community le leadership program. We actually stick with this quite quite tightly. I will show it to you later uh, uh, as, as a final slide. It's actually, uh, you can also do your own learning. For us, we think that this uh, is the minimum task you have to do uh, for uh, before you start a community. And our so-called community leadership program is basically a, a starter kit for community owners and and um, and teams. It's a group learning with pairs. We provide six videos and homeworks, and each of them have homework. And um, and we allow anybody uh, in BSF who who requested uh, could could just join. There's no limitation here. Now. How do we format the program? We basically format the program based on the challenges of community building. These challenges, actually, you can see them also in offline community, uh, but only the different thing is maybe these brackets here. Uh, you need to understand the tool uh, and, and usage. This is very similar. Uh, actually, you also need to know your community space, let's say, <laughs> uh, uh, or, or where you have space to, to work with your, uh, or, or meet your community uh, or your, having your community activities. Um, but the rest is, for example, starting a community or restart one is a challenge. Uh, gaining real commitment is another challenge. Encourage contribution is yet another challenge. Uh, and, and we most often uh, ask question actually. And sometimes people forget that they need to attract new members and socialize them. Uh, that that part is very often of forgot, forgotten, but we always tell the people you need to do so because people who just join an active community have a difficulty to jump in or, or, or join the, the active members. So there is a hesitation there too. And actually, um, of course, you should be able to re be ready for unexpected event, for example, our pandemic, for right? example, so, is very un unexpected, and uh, we see community struggle a little bit in the beginning uh, uh, with the pandemic. But in our case, we sort of uh, because we launched our new platform almost in the in the timing where pandemic just start and the lockdown start, uh, it was uh, sort of co co coincides in that sense. I often tell the people community building is like roller coaster. Uh, it's it's unpredictable but surely an exciting ride. But these are the challenges we, we, we um, inform or let's say tell the, the, the community owners 
and uh, to, to make it more systematic, more structured to understand, uh, to, to do work with the community, we um, also tell the people that there are five key questions you need to uh, ask yourself and consistently uh, um, um, update yourself to, to face those challenges. That's our, I call it OPAT uh, OP, uh, plus M. Um, why so? Because uh, the OPAT, uh, the first four is, is the crucial thing that you need to actually do. The M, the measure is um, maybe you, you should do it. Uh, if, you, if you ignore it, it's also not, not a problem. Um, but actually the most crucial part is of course in the middle activities, your actions. If you don't have any activities, the community is just dead. So that's, that's, even if you have very good objective, very good uh, group of people, but if there's no uh, activities that bind all this together, uh, there's no such things as community. Um, we actually combine these questions. Um, I will go through the questions a bit with you uh, and you will see that we put the challenge and the objective uh, or, or this OPAT together and we basically um, show people how to face those challenge, each of these challenges um, um, with the object uh, with this with this OPET model yeah, or, or the the questions you you answer. So we start our first module of our program uh, explaining uh, these five key questions they need to ask themselves, and then we go through each of the challenges uh, and and basically cross with these uh, questions. Yeah. Uh, the, what I highlight here with the with the color is is not exactly how it looks like, but but more or less you can uh, see the, the, this kind of overlap there. Uh, all in all, we try to structure it in a way that people have, find it pragmatic and useful. Um, this is one of the program, for example. I, I have different format, and one of the uh, very u common format is this two weeks program where actually I share the first two module, we call it module, uh, uh, already before our program. They shall go through the first um, uh, module uh, in, in the videos and, and do some of the homework before they join this so-called uh, review call. I offer four reviews call per week over the two weeks uh, when we started. Uh, the real program started uh, then uh, in this, review program, I basically review the homework with the people and try to help them through the homework. Instead of uh, do the presentation, uh, I try more to help them through uh, by doing the homework. Only when they, I see some needs, I, I will do some uh, sort of explanation of some of the presentation. And after the program, I keep this channel, uh, private channel in, in MS Teams actually, uh, uh, open uh, so that they can come back and review it. And if they need some help, uh, they can do some follow up call with me. So that's the basic program we provide. It is very loose program. We don't have any uh, criteria or, or passing any tests or, or certificates, um, but more to let the people understand how to get started. And when they have the they face problem, or finally understood some of the challenge, they come back to me. Yeah. One of the, here is one of the example. I, I will show you two, three slides that uh, coming from the, the program. This is in the module one, uh, when we format the objective, this is uh, based on uh, something we call community business model. Uh, after you do some exercise with this uh, business model, you can answer this question and format your elevator pitch, we call it. And basically uh, for a certain target group uh, who, has, uh, who has problems or, or needs, uh, your, uh, you have to fill in the name of your, your service or your community uh, uh, and describe your service or community, what you deliver. Uh, that help them to get uh, or to 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 gain some key benefits. 
let's say. This is a format or a sentence, uh, a template of, of sentence. You can uh, change it um, or, or whatsoever, but at least uh, we ask them to try to formulate in this way so that they themselves have a, a, a much better, uh, or sometimes among the core teams member, uh, have a better, uh, better alignment or agreement uh, what actually the community value is uh, for the members or for their target groups. And sometimes they need to argue against um, another platform, for example, uh, email or other services or e intranet. And so the, I, I, we ask them to also formulate um, something like unlike intranet or unlike email, yeah, your, your channel or your community would help in, in a different way. So that is a, 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 a a very often uh, counter to your first sentence uh, or, or answer to the count, counter argument to your first sentence. By by helping the the um, colleagues to 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 formulate, um, we we gave them a ho homework, asked them to do that uh, formulation of the first sentence, and maybe even set a, a objective and and key benefits um, underneath. For each of the target group, so that you can actually follow this as a as a guiding principle of what you want to do or who you want to involve and so on. So this is let's say one of the homework. And uh, sometimes you each community has multiple target group. We let ask them to formulate uh, for for each target group a a, a way to. Uh, 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 elevate the pitch so that when you meet uh, them or their managers or or, or or your peers, you can actually ex have a good exchange. Another thing is quite familiar, I guess you know about this 991 rules. Um, it's it's um, also a, another basic knowledge for a community owner they need to know. Uh, you cannot expect uh, a thousand member or hundred uh, members community, hundred percent of them are active. Uh, it's it's basically not how a community is working. Uh, we, I often uh, show uh, tell them, for example, if you go to a church, there's a church community. Let's say um, you will see quite some uh, active members uh, always there taking the lead, and the group of so-called regular members coming, and then uh, there are people who just come once a while. Yeah. And that is very similar to what happened in the community. So that is what you should expect. Please don't torture yourself thinking that only 1% of them proactive and 90, uh, half, some of them are regulars. It's, it's a bad thing. No, no, it's not always the case. And uh, very often, uh, especially online community, this is a very quite, uh, quite a, a normal distribution, let's say. Only when your community is very, very, um, let's say, active or very, very uh, uh, proactive, you have a lot of uh, uh, things going on, potentially you will have, let's say, 10%, um, 20%, and 70%. Yeah? So this shifting will happen. But uh, basically, you should. I ask. Uh, we ask them to basically identify who is your team, who is the experts and, and partners, who who may be the active members, and who is your target group, who more or less more or less reactive to you. So there is the um, role you expect them to play. And actually, I also observe that. Uh, especially in Yama, it's, it's very convenient, is that even non-members are active in our public community. That can be seen in our, our, our platform. So I tell them sometimes you have 900% <laughs> if you take, uh, uh, the, if you extend your uh, your community. This is people who are not, not even the members, but active, they they actually p would be your potential member and potential regulars yeah and uh, be aware that these are the your your potential newcomers and don't be sad if they don't join because uh, it's just that for them it's not the priorities uh, 
but it is important to know that your members, uh, your reach of your community is not in only inside your community, but outside your community. And very often uh, it, it is the case. So we asked the members um, who joined the, the program to really name the person if possible or not, if not describe the person in these um, categories so that they can identify and approach them and potentially create some programs which we then teach them how to do that in some other modules, how to help uh, regulars to, to do the posting, share with them just now, for example, the contribution quest so that they can contribute. So that's uh, some of the example coming from the first and the second module uh, of our program. Uh, today I, I don't have, uh, it's impossible for me to share all of that with you, uh, but you can see this is the, 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 the chart. We call it community quest that we post in our Yama group. And each of these has a, has a challenge so that they have to, to, to go through. And basically uh, each of the challenge is asking them uh, one question or key questions or those key questions. And um, they basically have to then try to formulate it in, into a, a charter we call, and uh, we ask them to keep that as your, or let's say, uh, homework for yourself. Even if you do not join the, the program or if you after you join the program, this charter would be your, let's say, something that you can share quickly with uh, your core members, with among your core members, uh, update it regularly and uh, and then potentially you can share with your manager if it is needed or your sponsor of your community uh, so that you can have a very much easy to understand uh, next step to do for example planning and and you can review it much easier so that's um, basically what we have in our program and um, I believe um, Community is part of innovation. <laughs> we, I, I myself coming from research, so I sometimes I think community platform is very very much an innovation platform because uh, innovation is about connecting people to make ideas happen, and um, and that's that's it for for it's the same thing with communities, um, nothing more or less than that. Yeah. So. Uh, any question or feedback, welcome.